God does something and you don't even realize what's taking place. Yeah. On the way up here, we was talking. And of course, we was listening to the songs and stuff again. And uh, that's just something we do. And we've been revivals and, and just about we think we've sung out and prayed out. And, you know, you leave them services where you just like somebody has to hold you up to get you uh -huh. outside. Amen. And we'd be <laughs> seven, eight hours away from the house. And it wouldn't be a couple of miles down the road. We'd still we'd be singing in the... Back then, it was a van we traveled in. Amen. And we've done a few videos late at night. You couldn't hardly see, but we'd do them sometime. And, and uh, my daughter and my son be with us. And you, you think, you know, if you'd just left the service, you'd think, my Lord, how is that possible? But the Scripture says with God, all things are possible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I thank God there was something instilled. So if you are in that shape tonight, and you got a loved one that's running from God. Amen. Amen. And it seemed like they are just a pure old devil themselves. Because I, I admit it, we've been there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just hold on. Just hold on. Keep praying. Amen. The same God that can deliver one can deliver them all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> Jeremiah 18. I'll go ahead and read and be seated. Verse 1 says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Amen. Amen. I will cause thee to hear my words. How many knows tonight you are here for a cause to hear God's word? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray this. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity and this privilege tonight, God. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us, God, to stand behind this desk one more time, God. God, we're nothing without you, God. We can't do anything without you, Lord. But God, we ask you, God, one more time to anoint us on vessel of clay. God, speak to us on female lips, God. Give us the word tonight, God. God, is needed. God, I ask you, God, lead and direct me, Lord, through this word. God, we give you praise, honor, and glory. Let the church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I got a start in Scripture and I, I just put a line. And that means I don't know where I'm going to stop. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Well, that's better than last week. At least I got a Scripture to start with. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We was on the way up here and my son, he asked a question. And he didn't realize what he was. I, I guess he, to him, it was just out of curiosity. He asked a question. And I've never heard the question before that I'm aware of. But I got to thinking about it. And then I already had these scriptures in mind that, that clicked. And I had my wife to look them up when we was coming through Nashville down here. And, and uh, I didn't know where I was going to go and everything. But I was sitting over here. And then while I was up here singing, God began to bring back that conversation we was having. Amen. He was wondering how the lineage came from Judah. He said, that's one thing. He said, I'm going to fast. I'm going to pray about that. And he said, oh, God, show me. How it come from Judah? Come on. You ever just thought thought about that? So Judah was a mistake. Come on, that's right. It really, you look at it, it was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to, in man's eyes, it wasn't supposed to come that way. Uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm gonna read on just a little bit further. So arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I'll, I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, and as seemed good to the potter to make it. Amen. If you don't know what that marred means, I looked it up, it means ruined. Uh -huh. Amen. How many of us, and I put a little, I just jotted down a quick title back there while I go right before he said, come up here and hit this bell. Amen. <laughs> and I said, blessed from a mess. Come on. Yeah. Amen. How many of us has ever been blessed out of a mess? Yes. Amen. How many of us begin to think of that? You know, in that marred, he said it was ruined. Uh -huh. At one time, amen, we was up on that potter's wheel and we was marred. Amen. amen. We was sitting there and we done made a mess of things. Amen. My God, hallelujah. I told him the other day, I said we was born, or mother this morning, we was born to serve the Lord. Amen. That's what we was created in. Amen. We was created in his image. Amen. To worship, to lift up Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We was born and we was created to worship.
worship. But so many times we get away, amen, from what we was created to be. Amen. And we get like my son did was talking about a while ago. Amen. We get in our own ways. Amen. We get in our own attitude. Amen. We get in our own wants. Amen. The Bible says we're drawn away by our own lust. And we make a mess out of everything. Amen. Hallelujah. There's been a lot of times. Amen. I was brought up in church, but I wasn't always in church. Amen. I was brought up in church, but I was in the bars. Amen. My parents didn't know at the time. Amen. But I was doing anything I was big enough to do. Amen. And my daddy being a pastor in a local town. Amen. But it's because I got away from what God wanted me to do. Amen. I become a mess upon that wheel. Amen. I become that marred flock of clay. Amen. Hallelujah. But you know what? He didn't leave me the way that I was right there so many times. We have things to break down and to fall apart and we make a mess out of it and we discard it. We throw it away. Right. Now a carpenter, if they got scraps, they'll try to make something out of that scrap to save money. Amen. So many times, though, for the right person you're working for, they ain't thinking about all that. They just throw it on out. Right. Throw it on out. But us poor carpenters, amen, we look for those things. We'll throw them in the back of the truck and take them home. Amen. Hallelujah. But when we made a mess of things, and we got, we just fell apart upon the wheel. See, he didn't just throw it out. He sat there and he began to mold it and shape it back again. And he made something out of nothing. Amen. He made a blessing out of a mess. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. You go and you think about David. We was talking about him. Amen. David. Amen. Wasn't the most. Wasn't supposed to amount to anything. The way David come about, he wasn't supposed to be nothing. They had him on the backside, amen, tending to the sheep, amen. But you know what? And I was, we was talking about that, and I said, but that's just like God. God said his ways ain't ours and ours ain't his. Amen. He likes to do things, amen, to confuse us, amen, to, to shake us up a little bit. Some of the things we think, amen, ain't good for nothing. That's what God can use, amen. When man is casting down, and man is going to cast them out and say, you can't do this, and you can't do that. You ain't good enough. You ain't got the right name. You ain't got a big enough bank account. You ain't got a nice house, amen. Amen. But God said, that's the one I'm wanting right there. Amen. He can take that mess and he can create a blessing out of it. Amen. He can take you through a test to give you a testimony. Amen. He can bring you through. Amen. Through your hard times. He'll bring you. Amen. Through everything you've done made a mess of in life. Amen. And allow you to be a testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ruined. Marred. Amen. In the hand of the potter. So he made it again. Another vessel. That seemed good to the potter to make it. Hallelujah. The Bible said when we go down that watery grave. We go down the old man. And we come up a new one. Amen. Amen. He's making that new vessel. Amen. Because the old one wasn't getting it done. Amen. The old one wasn't getting it done. So he brings up a new one. He said let's try it again. Amen. And sometimes we make a mess of it. He said well let's start all over and do it again. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's, it's took two or three of us, uh, amen, in here several times to get it right. And we're still working on that right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Just because we, we headed right. in the right direction don't mean we're there yet. Right. Amen. But we're still headed there. Amen. I preach it all. I tell it everywhere I go. The shame ain't in a man falling, but the shame's in staying down. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said seven times when a righteous man fall, seven times he'll get back up. Amen. No devil will keep you down. Amen. He'll try to hinder you and stop you from the work of God. Amen. But we just got to get up. Amen. Get back on that wheel. Say, God, begin to mold me and shake me like you want. Amen. Create in me, oh God, a pure heart, a mind called a right mind, a right spirit. God, do it again. Work on me again. I done messed up. I need shaping. I need trimming. I need fixing, God. I'm not good at this by myself. I can't make it. There's nothing good in me. But God, I know that I got your blood covered over me. And come one day, I went down that watery grave. Amen. I was, oh my God, I was born again. I was brought up in that name. My God is above every name. Amen. It ain't me, but it's Him through me. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Too many times. Uh-huh. If it was left up to man, half the ministers in the world wouldn't be used. That's right. Amen. That's right. No. Amen. Because what we what we count as nothing. Right. God said, Oh, that's the one. 
Amen. All of David's brothers. All of his brothers up there. And he said, no, not that one. Come on. Not that one either. Went on down the line, not that one either. Either is there not is there another one somewhere? Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, but you know, this is the ones that is going to amount to something. Bless Amen. You ever felt like yeah? So this is the one that's going to amount to something. Amen. He said, but we'll bring him here. Well, okay. We'll go get him. But I'm telling you, right here is your pick. And say, when he came, he told her, he said, that's the one. Come on. That's the one. That's the one. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. That's the one God wants. My God. He went out of his way. Went by the well. Found the Samaritan woman. The rest of them went to Donnie. But he said, I, I, I've got to. I, I've got to go. Come on. Amen. I've I, 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 I got to meet with her today. He, he, he said, I've got to meet with her today. He went by there. Amen. Made a special trip just to sit there. And he said, he wanted some water. But he didn't have nothing to draw it with. Read the scripture. He didn't have nothing to draw it with. She brought her own pot. Amen. He wasn't that he wanted the water. He wanted to give some. Amen. Amen. How many knows God has went out of his way so many times? Amen. To try to get our attention. He's went out of his way and said, hey, 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 when you listen to me, I got something. I got a message that you just need to listen to. I got a word. Amen. Hallelujah. I need to talk to you. Amen. While the rest of them went looking for meat, he went looking for a soul. Amen. The rest of them went looking for something to eat. That's the church today. Amen. Hallelujah. Me included. Amen. We're looking for something to eat instead of looking for a soul. Amen. Hallelujah. But he went out of his way after he's tired and body. Amen. He went out of his way to reach that soul. Amen. He said to what I have. If you only knew who I was and what I had. Amen. You'd want to drink of this water. Amen. You'd want to drink of this water. See, go tell you. Go get your husband. She said, whoa. I ain't got one. I ain't got one. He said, that's right. You've had five and one you got now in yours. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on. That's also today's generation. That's true. Amen. That's true. So you've had five and one you got now in yours. Right. Amen. But he said, I'll tell you what. Won't you let me pick you up and put you back on this wheel just a little while. Oh. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll fix your problem. Amen. Hallelujah. We got a heart problem in the world today. Amen. And God needs to work on it. Needs to fix it. Amen. People ain't wanting to give God what's his. Amen. Whether it's time or whatever. Amen. And people, hey, my God, they come up with every excuse in the book. Keep them serving God. Amen. It's a heart problem. It's a heart problem. We will support the things that mean the most to us. We'll spend time with what means the most to us. You let some of our family, even the little grandkids, if they play ball or whatever, oh, grandparents, they're going to make time for that. Amen? They'll make time for that. But you ask them to come to church a little early. Amen? Come to church an extra night for a revival. Amen? <laughs> I know y'all ain't got that problem up there. No. Amen. <laughs> Ask him to sacrifice just a little bit. Pray just a little longer. Amen. Fast the meal. Oh God, the world's coming to an end. That's right. Come on, church. Amen. You know I'm right. Amen. Pastor, I'll support you. I'll be there Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night, and I'll give my time, but don't you ask me to give up a meal. Amen. Hallelujah. And start a ride in the church, you ask now. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. But God said, if you'll let me, I'll put you back on that wheel. And I'll begin to shape you. And I'll begin to mold you. He said, I'll cause you to hear a word. Amen. The church needs to hear a word. Amen. It seems like every word is preached goes in one ear and out the other. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we, as children of God, we act like the little kids running around. I'll use this because she's part of us. On the way up here, every one of us like to beat her to death. Threatened her a dozen times. She'd look at us and say, I saw you. 
It didn't mean nothing because she go right back doing what she doing. That's where we are. Amen. You talk and you talk and you talk to a kid. And it's like, if you don't listen, I'm going to knock it into you. That's the way I was raised. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't you glad God don't just haul off and knock us sometimes? Amen. Hallelujah. Try to get her attention. Say, boy, wake up. I'm trying to talk to you. Amen. Amen. But it's time. The church hears a word. Come on. Amen. Here's a word. Said, Lord, speak a word, Lord. My ears long to hear. Amen. So many times, amen. Our, our ears are locked right here, but our hearts are oh. oh. Amen. Amen. Bible says from the lips, just say like one thing from my heart. Amen. amen. But see, if we get our heart and our ears lined up together, yes. so speak, Lord. Amen. Speak a word, Lord. My ears long to hear you. Speak a word, Lord. My heart aches to know. We got a heart problem. The world is hurting and they don't realize why. Amen. We got to hear a word. My God. We got to hear a word. That's the only way we can turn our mess into a blessing. That's the only way we can get things fixed upon that wheel. Amen. So many times we want to jump off the wheel and run do our own thing. And God said, I ain't finished with you. I ain't finished with you. Hallelujah. But we want to jump off and take off running. Say, God, I got a little dose of that, and that's all I need. And I'll stand back here. Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. But the word is crying. Why don't you come to the water? Why don't you come to the water? Come back to the to the to the wheel. Come back to the wheel. Let me complete what I've started. All right. Amen. You go and buy a product at Walmart. You buy a product at Walmart, it comes in a box. Supposed to already be assembled. But if it was on a Monday or a Friday when they put it together, my son used to work at a factory putting furniture together. He'll tell you. On Monday, their heart ain't in that job. And on Friday, all they got their heart is that paycheck. Amen. If it was a way to look at that product and know what day it was it was made on, you, you, you'd avoid the Monday and Friday products. Amen. But if you open that box and whoever was preparing it just throwed it in there and didn't finish it, you can't use it. That's right. Come on. You can't use it right. if it's not completed. Right. Amen? Amen. You're going to throw it back in the box, take it back, get your money back. Right. Amen? Amen. So God created us and it cost him no money. Amen? But sometimes he's like, if you don't get back up on that wheel, I'm going to throw you in that scrap pile over there and I'm going to go somebody else. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. So we'll cause you to hear a word. Cause you to hear a word. Come down to the potter's house. Come down to the potter's house. They got a song my wife sings sometimes. Well, I've come back to the potter's house. I don't know if y'all heard that up here. How's it going? I've laid everything at his feet. And tomorrow I'll be a vessel molded by his grace. But I'm in pieces at the potter's house today. How many of us is in pieces today? Amen. Amen. Tomorrow will be something, but today we need working. Amen. Tomorrow we'll, we'll be something better. But today we're still broken. In pieces. And he said, let me work on you. Let me work on you. Until you're fixed. You can't help somebody else. You realize that? Until we get some of our issues fixed, we can't help somebody else. Hey Amen. If we're still broken. That's... I know everybody's got their own ideas on where to go to get help and all this stuff. But I'm going to tell you, if I need deliverance, I'm not going to a counseling group where the rest of them are just like I am. Amen. Sit around in a circle and tell your story and listen to others. Amen. All you are is a bunch of broken people. But we've got to go to the one that can fix us. Amen. I'm talking about going back to the potter. Amen. How do we get back on the wheel and say, God, you're the only one that can help me. I don't made a mess of everything. God, I've done it my way. I've lost this. I've lost my family. I've lost my 
my job. Amen. I've lost all the blessings you try to give me. So God, you're, you're my last resort. But if we realize he was our first resort. Amen. We could have skipped all of that other. It's like playing a country song backwards. You get everything back. Amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You play it forward, time you get through listening to it, you want to shoot yourself. Amen. Oh, hee haw, grief, despair, and agony on me. Amen. Amen. But God said, I'll rewind it backwards. We'll, we'll go to Him and we'll leave blessed. Amen. Leave blessed. Hallelujah. I want to tell a little of His testimony if He wouldn't care. She was telling me a little bit while ago. And this is personal experience now. I, we know what God can do. And this has been two or three.